Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma in the last episode. Oh my goodness, did we do something huge. Basically, I mean we can just look at the flowchart if you want to, if I want to explain it. We learned the order of events. Things happened in a certain order. They weren't all happening simultaneously like we originally like thought, quote unquote. I mean, sure, there was a little bit of fishiness to the whole times. They kept There's a reason why everybody kept trying to look at their watches and seeing the different times, and all the time seemed skewed based on the team that we were playing as. Now it all makes sense, because none of it was happening at the same exact time, and it was all one team at a time, because we're all in the same place. It's weird, but kind of a cool revelation, so I'm down. So the, the flowchart got a whole new shuffle because of that, and now we're going to go back to basically the last thing that happened was Eric was about to kill Carlos and Carlos was like alright tell me how this machine works machine being the transport machine so Sigma and Diana taught him how to use it and then right as he's about to get killed by um, Eric he uh, basically uh, does the whole shift thing and now he's going to go back to the timeline where Oh right, he's going back. This is the timeline, if you remember, where 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 uh, Q showed up, or at least A Q showed up, little robot kid. Yeah, we know he's a robot now too. Um, robot kid showed up, and uh, basically tried to murder them all. Um, and Carlos was like, "I'm gonna save you all," and then that one ended. So let's see what happens now that he's got a little more information. Let's see what's helpful. Also, I should get my notebook ready because I may need to write something down or use some notes that I already have. Remember, I still haven't done everything that I have have written down quite yet. I don't know if I'm going to have to remember the code to the machine either. Hopefully Carlos remembers it so I don't have to. Otherwise, that's going to be fun. Um, but I have the code for Q's helmet, and I also have names that we can go try as well, which are going to be interesting. Anyway, let's not worry about that right now. Right now we're doing this. We're doing this. What's going to happen, guys? Predict it now. Put Place your bets. Here we go. What you got, Carlos? What you got up your sleeve, boy? Oh, he's gonna go Super Saiyan. I knew it. Oh, he took he took the shot. Oh, no he didn't. He shook him. And then he hit the wall. Nice. And then it's gonna... Un oh my god, perfect. And then it's gonna unleash. Yep. Nice. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yep, that was part of the reveal we had last episode. When everything got uncovered as You're fucking being kidding like me. this. What is this? Explanations can wait. We should get going before he starts moving. You say that, but where? That door. There's a device on the other side. It can get us out of this mess. Let's go. But it's only room for two people. So he's going to teleport Akane and... Oh, he could shift out of there, though. Never mind. He could save them and then shift out of there. That's how we're going to save everyone. We're going to shift oh, everyone to the same timeline and everyone's going to live. It's going to be crazy. Huh. The three wards all overlapped each other. Who knew? And I think I figured out the transporter more or less. Of course you did. So, where is our destination? Hmm. It appears as if you finally arrived. Zero. Asshole. Where are you? Let me make one thing clear for you. I no longer exist in this world. In the current history, I was executed by one among you. Your fellow teammate, Carlos. Hey, what? As such, I will be unable to answer any of your questions. You are speaking to a recording. If you are desperate for answers, I suggest finding me where I am alive. Unfortunately, in that history, our positions are reversed, and the three of you are dead. But if you do come, 
I will share vital information. I'll be waiting to meet with you. Interesting. So we... The history... when we died? Interesting. Okay. God damn it! Where is that? Could it be? The one where all of our heads exploded, dude. That's the same one we had to go with Sigma and Diana, so it makes sense. I know. It's the one where we were executed. Wh what? Then how the hell do we even jump to that history? We can't shift there if our bodies are already dead. You can transport, bruh. Oh, so that's it. We're going to transport. Yep, yep. You know it. But Carlos is going to have to go to another timeline to do the same thing, lever, right? He's going to have to shift to another universe and then transport. Because only two people can go. Oh, and he's going to have to uh, play some he, defense he's... right now. Penalty. Penalty. Time to exterminate. Go ahead, Akane. Junpei. Huh? What are you saying? Uh, it only works with one person in each. At least that's what Diana told me. So no matter what, we can only transport two people at once. Uh, what are you guys doing? Go now! What? Uh, I'll definitely catch up with you. I promise! Trust me! After the transporter has been used once, it won't work for a while. We'll hold you to it! Uh, I promise! Uh, I've never broken one before, uh, and I won't now! We're counting on you, Carlos. Okay, so Akane and Junpei equals saved. This is good. Carlos is going to have to go to a different timeline where the transporter has not been used and he's still alive. That's going to be how that the next one has to go. I'm wondering. Looks like Carlos is our real hero here, huh? Seems like he's, like... he's the real hero. He's the firefighter, man. He's the fireman. Man, man. Are they gone? know it here he comes time to shift Ugh. right Ugh. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is bad. At this rate. just shift out of there bro don't give up on me Carlos oh Maria oh, is that you uh, I heard you calling out so I Maria! Maria! Maria, Maria! Maria. Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. I'll never stop waiting. She'll never, dude. So... Never. Yeah, you're right. There's no way I'm gonna die here. I, I can't... I can't die here! Ass. Nice. Well then. Broke that shit. <sighs> Guess I can't use this thing anymore. Well, it wouldn't have worked for ten months anyways, so doesn't matter. Not like I was gonna sit here what for ten do minutes. Do now? Fuck that. The place ten to minutes, ten months. <sighs> How do I get to the history where we were executed? Uh, it's as Junpei said, my body's dead there, so I can't shift. Time to choose a different timeline, then. Wait a minute. Then... What the... I don't understand. But this doesn't look good. You better go, sir. No, wait. This isn't bad. This is actually my chance yep his life's in danger time to go yep. the question is exactly which timeline is a good one to go to I'm trying to think 
I don't know if I know off the top of my head. I have to look at all of them again to remember, but I'm sure that's kind of what he needs to do. Go to a timeline where he's alive, and it doesn't matter who else is alive. Well, okay, it doesn't matter if Akane and Junpei are alive because he already got them in the right place. It doesn't matter if Sigma or Diana is alive because they're already in the right place. It doesn't matter if Eric is alive because he's already there. So Mira is the only one that's dead in that timeline. And Fi, well, and Fi is gone. We didn't really see her dead body, but she's gone. So that's the interesting thing. Is Carlos going to teleport there with Mira, or is he going to teleport there with Fi? Either way, he's going to go to a timeline where that happens, I think, and it's going to be interesting. Are we? Oh, we got. Oh, we got options. Oh, we got options. Oh, we got options. Okay. All right. Well, let me look at the flowchart first. Let me just see what it's looking like before I pick a choice. Pick a choice. Any choice. Hmm. I wonder which one will lead to what. Because at this point, there's really only three things that left to do. Well, okay. I say three things. I mean, there's more than that. So there's... There's actually multiple things. There's obviously this one over here, which is probably going to be an ending, actually. I'm I'm still skeptical when I should do this one, but I think it's coming up. Um, trying out the names. I may not even have the correct name for that one yet, by the way. I'm just thinking that I have at least a couple to try. Um, but other than that... I'm thinking one of these that we're about to do is going to be this spot right here. And the other one's going to be this spot over here with the choices. And I think the rest of this is going to be the real ending. I think this is going to be the real ending. And I think it has to do with the force quit box. I think the force quit box is going to be a big, big thing here on this timeline where I have to actually get all the force quit boxes. So, again, I don't have the codes for the other two yet, I don't think. But I think I can guess the one for Diana with the... With the one that needs the two mothers mementos or whatever, the the bluebird and the and the the brooch or whatever. I'm assuming I have to I I'll have to try a couple words to figure out if I have the right words. But anyway, let's stop babbling. Let's just pick one. We just did Carlos. You know, let's just keep going with Carlos. I don't want to switch over to Q yet. This may be short, maybe long. Let's just click it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a shorter one. So let's just do it now. It's got the full moon, dude. We're gonna escape. Or are we? I don't know. Apocalypse now. Maybe I won't, won't, don't want Apocalypse now, motherfucker. Carlos isn't coming. Wait, what? What is he doing? He, he promised he'd come. Uh, maybe he's... Don't say it. I'm going to go check in the lounge. Hey, Junpei! <laughs> Yeah. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do this one first. Wait, this... This is Ward D? Maybe. What the hell is... Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? This is not the timeline I was expecting. Oh, I better get a call. I thought they were all going to be in the same one now, but no, he sent him to a different one. Interesting. My guess is that something exploded. No fucking shit. Exploded? A bomb went off in the decontamination room. Who'd do that? Oh shit. Is this this is the timeline where they escaped? Unauthorized escape. Yeah. Do you get it? D team set the bomb. Yep. I remember oh. this. And that's how the I didn't ceiling expect them to collapsed get here, in that this room. Is interesting. But why is it now completely buried in sand? Ah, oh, the ceiling probably gave in a little while after they escaped. Oh, Jesus. The history where I'm alive and you are dead. Seems you found your way here safely. Zero. As promised, the important information. Get your pens ready. A comment. Just in case. The history you find yourself in is that because yeah, this is the history that actually happens for VLR, what? if you remember correctly. No! 
The first medical six patients have left. They should reach the hospital shortly. The pandemic is unavoidable now. The virus is spreading all over the world. That's a damn lie. It has to be! No, it is the truth. Free the soul's plan is progressing smoothly. Then that's gotta mean you're that cult's... Correct. I am the founder of Free the Soul. Many call me brother. You so bastard. wait, brother's gonna be really? Thanks to your shitty dream, okay. six billion people will. Don't be mistaken. If we do nothing now and let time pass, an even worse future awaits. A religious fanatic will trigger a nuclear war with a terrorist attack. Eight billion. All of mankind will perish. Unfortunately, the fanatic's identity is unknown. Therefore, I decided to kill six billion people. Why? By doing so, I will have a 75% chance but they are among the virus's casualties. To tell the truth, history has proven me right. So, to kill one person, you'll sacrifice six billion? It is to save two billion people. And that's how you use Radical Six. You don't believe that's the ethical choice? What? Ah! Uh of course I don't! Is that all you think human lives are worth? Do you feel nothing as you kill off a whole bunch of innocent people? But that's just the way of life. Sinner or innocent, people will die or be killed in an unjust manner. Like your parents, Akane Kurashiki. Wh what are you talking about? Your father was sentenced to death for a crime he didn't commit. In grief, your mother killed herself. No, that's wrong! My parents were involved in an accident! You were likely told that, but it is a lie. What I shared just now is the truth. No! Think about it. If your father hadn't been falsely accused, how different your life would have been. You'd never have been involved in that child abduction case ten years ago. And clearly, the incident a year ago would not have happened either. And of course, Junpei. The path you'd walked during your life would have been completely different too. The smallest things have a drastic effect on a person's life. As I said, that's just what it is. But that doesn't mean that you have free reign to just mess with the lives of people like that. Only God decides who lives and who dies. Oh, to think you of all people would invoke God. Very well. I will let you see the true God that we believe in. You, of course, see the clothing laying on the bar counter. The evening of April 12, 2029. Wear those and take part in our ceremony. There, I shall tell you the secrets of the world. There's no way I'd ever go. No, you will most definitely come. Well, that is, if you manage to escape the shelter. Just watch. I'll get out soon. Of course we will. Diana's bringing back a rescue team. Do they even have any reason to believe that the two of you are alive? If there is no rescue, then the remainder of your lives will carry out at this sacred site. Sacred site? 
This is the sacred site where the birth of Brother, founder of Free the Soul, occurred. Yep. Are you saying you were born here? 100%. Yes, but raised elsewhere. The moment we were born, we were transferred to the past via the transporter. Back to April 1904. 1904? <gasps> 1904? Holy moly. Wait. Did you just say we? Yes. yes. Yes, he did. Do you mean your little brother? It's true. I had a younger brother, but we were not related by blood. He was the son of the couple who raised me. Then... Let me clarify. My we is referring to my younger sister. You know this person. Well, let's just lay it all out there, Zero, so I don't even have to say it out loud. Ah, it appears I've spoken too long. But I will impart to you something very important. The spell to open Pandora's box. Uh oh, uh oh. Vive Hodier. Vive Hodier. Remember these words well. Vive. It will come in handy some. Odier. We wait. Odier? It's Vive nice. Hody. Live for today. Vive Hody, dude. Vive Hody. Vive Hody. Vive Hody. That's probably a uh, one of the codes for the boxes, maybe. That's what I'm. That's my guess. Is that it? No, wait, hold on. Gotta get a real ending. Hold on. Maybe? Oh, I wonder what's happened to Carlos. He did. Maybe he won't be coming. Uh, why would you say that? Maybe... Maybe nobody's going to come to save us. Like Zero said, Diana and the others probably don't know we're alive in here. It'll just be us two, in this place, forever. No... I think there's someone else. Or maybe more like something. It's a dog. Gab. What up with a dog? Oh, I'm glad you're safe. Hey, look. Isn't there something in his collar? This is... Anagram. Oh, yeah. Um, that's when you rearrange the letters. I know what the word fucking phrase. word means. But we need to know the <laughs> sentence to work from. Vive Hodier, dude. The original sentence. No. Huh. No, it's the thing on the wall. We already know. Oh, hey, uh, Akane, do you remember the Ward C Lounge? Yes. What did it say on the wall? I think it was. Let the game end where I treat two. Can we make any other phrases using all the letters from that? Um. Uh... Better not make me do this part. It's fucking hard. Anagrams for a whole sentence are hard. Well, it's not perfect, but together with me, we are ten. But if that's what it is, there are leftover letters. How many? Five extra letters. L D A E T. Ah. Uh, the thing is, Delta. I don't know what word I could make out of them. I do. But what could together with me, we are ten, mean? It could be saying, if you're with me, then there are ten of yeah, us. I get ten? it already. Nine people I mean, in the game plus there are plenty zero, of other who's ways not to one reach. of us. Where are you going, Junpei? Too easy, bro. I already understand. Connie needs to get on my level. Hey, why isn't Q on this board? Why? Well, because he's not dead. Wait, he he's still alive? I think so. Huh. Q is alive. 
We are ten. What? No. Yes. What no? Okay. So that explosion actually What the fuck? Is it Fireman? No way. Did he do it? No way. Is it really him? Sorry about the wait. It is, yo. Well, I guess I was the one who waited. I promised, didn't I? That I'd come back for you. Wait, are you? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm wearing a mask. Duh. Motherfucking Carlos. He did. Hey, Junpei, Akane, I'm here to save you. Yay. What a best friend you are. Okay. Apparently we get a long black screen after he's here. Oh, that, oh, because that's the credits. He's here to save you. And that's the credits. So that's an ending. It just ends like that. What a disappointing ending. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that's, just, that's just how it ends. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, it's not. So, let me get this straight. You, you shifted to the history where you pushed the yellow button. I can't leave with you guys. Huh? I made a promise in another history that I'd definitely save you two. Then you went back in time ten months by activating the unused transporter? So you guys would be able to transport to this history. I needed ten months to charge the device again after I used it. <laughs> and then you just... Waited for a long time. That's right. You didn't think of stopping Zero's plan? If I did that, then I couldn't have met you guys, right? That was one hell of a thing you did. Huh? Do you know what happened because of you? Mira and Eric died. Sigma lost his arms and an eye, and he's in the hospital! That's not all. Zero said... The first Radical Six patients have left. Thanks, Mira! It's... it's too late. We can't stop the spread of the virus. What happened today is going to result in six billion people. Carlos is like, uh, uh, oh, I didn't do it. It wasn't me, man. <laughs> this is the end. It's the end, dude. I have to start over from the beginning. Oh, great. Start over? We'll start now and spend the next 45 years preparing for my plan. Y uh, you have a plan? In 45 years... I'm going to call Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the future. And we're gonna come right back here and do it all we over must again. Do it, or we can't save all those people. I'll help you, Akane. Let me join Crash Keys, or, or whatever you're calling it. Uh, I yeah. can't do that. But why? But the ring, though. I'm going to need you to forget everything you know, Junpei. Wait, what? I'm really sorry. What? Ah! What just happened? Hey, hey, Akane! She just fucking take his kneecap out? It's fucked up. Oh no, she didn't. She just she just knocked him out. No, okay. you, you you can't be. 
Oh. Why? The memory. Right. Junpei. Memory. I will never forget you. Memory. But please, forget me. You need to forget. No. I don't want to. I'll never forget. No matter what happens, I won't. I... I won't. Akane! Why? I do what I must to accomplish my goals. That is just how I am. Even if that means I must lose my life, I... I swear I'll make the AB project a success. You heard her. That's what she swears, dude. She swears by the moon and the stars in the sky. All right, and there's the official C end. We got a moon, baby. We got a moon. We gonna fly Ooh. me to it? Fly me to the moon, baby. Fly me to the moon. Okay, so that's the full path for the history where basically where VLR happens. That's the full story right there. Boom shakala. There it is. I did not mean to save over that, but that's okay. Two more endings to go, guys. Two more endings to go. We're getting close. We're getting real close. Well, we really only have one other thing we can do right now that I know that you can tell well, that you can tell from the stat screen. There's really only yeah, there's really only two things. There's the boxes and there's the Q endings. So we're just gonna go do the Q thing right now. Why not? I don't know what it's gonna entail. Is this gonna be the one that has all the choices? It is. So where is this? This looks like when Eric has the gun pointed in his face, but like Wait, 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 hold on. So, let me just double check. So this is, this is this path. What was the last thing that happened here? Right, okay. So the last thing that happened here, Eric blew Carlos's face off. All right, just remembering what we, or like what we were doing. I'm just trying to remember. Okay, Eric blew Carlos's face off, and now Q, and then... Uh, Sigma and Diana are standing there like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? And everybody else is dead. Well, and phi has gone. So this is the this is that path, the one I was talking about that I thought Junpei and Akane jumped to. Incorrect. So let's see where this goes from here. Let's see what happens from here. Q. Just flat out Q. Okay. Let's see what happens. Got his brain shot in. Good stuff. Good job, Eric. Dick. Why? Why? Shut up! He was trying to make me look the fool. He probably figured I wouldn't shoot. Looks like he figured wrong. Bitch, please. No! No! Hey! Cut that out, Eric. No. I won't stop. Not until you're all dead. Why? Didn't I say already? Because one of us is the one who killed Mira. I still want to know that. Like, who killed Mira and who killed Junpei? Was it the army of Qs? It's gotta be, right? Like, who else would have done it? It's you, isn't it? I told you, it's not... You're gonna have to prove it. Prove? I don't have any... Then I'm killing you. Wait! Please, wait! I know. Maybe. Maybe? 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 Don't call me. Maybe what? Maybe if I take this helmet off, I think you'll understand then. So, your face will prove your innocence? <laughs> Fine. Take it off. 
the code written down if I need to remember it. The number for this is... I, I think it's... Okay. So I actually have to know the code. Alright, well, here's what I'm going to do. Because you have to know the code, I'm going to act like I don't know the code, and I'm going to see what happens. Because this has choices. One choice is to know the code, one choice is to not. So I'm going to not know the code, even though I totally know it. I wrote it down from last video. So, we're going to not know it first. Watch Eric blast us and then get a game over, most likely. <laughs> I just want to see it happen. I'm morbid like that. Crap! I don't know! But I do know. You bastard! You're fucking with me, aren't you? God damn it, Eric. What a dick. He just, if you think about it, even though we know he's a robot, he just blasted a little kid with a shotgun. What the fuck, dude? Eric is all sorts of fucked. I mean, he is. Oh, God. So it's not really like a surprise or anything. It's just fucked up, that's all. I'm guessing that's going to be an end just because. Game over? Yeah. I, I had a feeling, but again, just we're just here to see all the endings. Even the de even the bad ones. Even the ones that end up with Q face down in the blood. Not that there was any blood, but you get what I'm at, getting at. Anyway, let's get right back to it, shall we? Right back to the choice where we know the code, because we do know the code. I'm just wondering why there's another choice after that. Is there some other thing I'm gonna need to know that I technically might not know yet. I'm hoping not. Maybe I do know it. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just be another decision. Either way, let's fast forward through this shit. I know the code. Assuming that the code is eight digits. It is six one four zero four zero nine one. The choice has been made. Open sesame. Or. <laughs> I'm curious to see the reaction when this happens. If it happens the same way as we saw before. Which I think it will. What? Are you serious? It can't yep. be. No. Yeah. I'm. Not human. I'm a robot. Is his voice coming out of the mask, or is it coming out of his neck hole? That's what I want to know. That makes you even more suspicious. No, it's because I'm not a human that I can't be. Oh, are we going to have to what explain the theories of robotics to him? Can't kill humans. Well, unless your job is to kill humans. My blood? It's white. He's got the milk. Not red. Milk toast. So what? Remember how Mira had some skin and blood under her nails? True that. Wait. Well, I guess you wouldn't because of the memory loss, but... No. No. You're right. When I tried to revive Mira... I took a look at her. Then you realized... I think the skin and blood is that of the killer. Before Mira died, I think she did her best to resist. I see. I... I suppose you're right then. You didn't kill her. But no. It doesn't change the fact that you existing is suspicious. <laughs> I'll still kill you. I mean, come on. Why is a robot here? Well... Because Zero brought me in. W what the...? Zero created me so I could support him in this game. I knew it! 
You didn't know shit. Wait, Eric! Out of my way! I'm gonna kill him! Please, just calm down, Eric! Shut up! He's got all the answers. If what he said is true, then he would be able to tell exactly. us who Zero is. He's got is. answers. You don't want to kill the guy with the answers. Let's torture him, and then we'll kill him. Duh! That's how it works. We need the info. Torture, then kill. Torture, then kill. Okay, Eric? Do you... know? Fine. If you know, then tell me right now who the real Zero is. What's the name of the bastard who locked us up oh. and forced us to take part in this? Wow, do we really have to game? say the name too? Oh wow. Zero. If you haven't deduced who Zero is Zero's at this point, then you're name stuck. Is... Interesting. I didn't expect this. Wow, if you get to this point in the game and you haven't deduced who Zero is, then you're stuck. Interesting. I'm actually going to obviously, you know, pick that I don't know and then we'll pick that we do know, but I didn't expect them to have me actually have to guess who Zero is. Interesting. Anyway, his name's O. I, didn't, I just picked a letter. I didn't. I wouldn't. I just clicked. His name's O. No? His name's not O. No? Stop running your goddamn mouth! <laughs> you know what might be fun? Now that I thought about it, what if I just guess random people? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. We got the evil Eric laugh again. Thanks. Oh my. Oh, screw it. I'll just kill all of you. Wow. There's only Oh, did he kill the dog too? No, you did not. Oh, why you shoot three times then? Sigma needed two. I'm, oh. I'm coming to you. And he's gonna kill himself Mira. too. Really? Wow. Eric, 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 you fucking insane bat! And here we thought Mira was. You know what? They deserve each other. They deserve you fucking each other. Cause goddamn, Eric is oh. goddamn head case. Mirror's a goddamn serial killer. Shit is nuts, man. Shit is nuts. <sighs> okay, well, we're gonna go back to that. We know who we know who Zero is. I know who Zero is. I haven't said it out loud yet. I didn't know we were gonna have to actually guess it. Also, well, never mind. I was like, that counted as ending? No, it didn't, idiot. But I kinda wanna guess some more zeros. I kinda wanna throw out some fun answers just to see what happens. What if I say it's Mira? No, I can't say it's Mira. He'll just be like, fuck you! I almost want to say it's like... Sigma. <laughs> just to see what happens. I kind of want to... I'm going to do it, dude. I'm picking Sigma. I just want to see what happens if you pick one of the people who's here. Please tell me this is going to actually give me something funny. I want to know. Come on. Sigma, is that true? Does it sound like it is? <laughs> I figured. You just threw out a name, didn't you? No. I hate that kind of person the most. <laughs> I hate that kind of person the most. Okay, and then he's going to kill everyone and go nuts and kill himself. Okay. So that's the same. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Let's just put in the right answer. I could sit here and just throw names out here all day, really though. But that's probably just I, I just wonder if there's any like Easter egg type ones where it like gives me something interesting. Um obviously picking him like saying it's Eric would make no sense. So let's just say who it actually is. Because I know who it is, guys. We've deduced it already. And it pretty much deduced it as soon as I said maybe maybe Delta is Q and I thought about that I'm like this doesn't even make any fucking sense and then when Q took his fucking head off I was like oh well duh Delta is somebody else who should be way more obvious and then they pretty much just spelled it out for me in this episode oh I'm known as brother somebody's brother oh 
I have a sister. Blah. She was and me were born here. Blah. It's like, okay. As soon as I learned the twin thing, I pretty much 100% knew this was it. I mean, I know it took a while, but there was really no reason for me to guess this until we learned the twin thing, honestly. So anyway, that's it, guys. If this isn't the answer, then I don't know what it is. Unless it's Sean. No. Here we go. Zero. The real zero is. You, Delta. You, Delta? Who are you pointing at? Me? Delta? Oh. I've heard that name before. It's your son. Yeah. Me too. And your son. Oh, yeah. You guys wouldn't know. Because you transported into this history. Oh, would you stop yapping, Sean? What the f- This old man's name is Q. What? That's right. What? That's what he was called at DCOM. Yeah, I called him that. And Mira. She always called this man Q, too. Then... What the fuck? What is happening right now? Is it supposed to be like me? I'm confused. Huh? Well... Hello, Delta. He... he stood. This guy totally stood! Hmm. You're completely correct, Sean. My real name is Delta. He spoke! <clears throat> I thought you were supposed to be deaf. Okay, and here we are. All of you will be living together here in the decom facility. Um, the the old man in the wheelchair too. Uh huh. His name is Q. It should be obvious, but he can't walk. What's more, he can't see or hear either. All lies. He can't hear. Nope. But then why? Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time? What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose to observe how we'd get out. I mean, I remember him saying that, but I didn't remember anything about so, that. So, you're saying it... Like, why Why would I have committed that to memory? It's all a lie! And your eyes... They're purple as fuck. This is... There are a large variety of security cameras in place throughout the shelter. A feed of all the footage is fed in. They all appear there. So, you used that to spy on us the whole time? Yes, I did. However, it is limited to those histories where I am alive. Alive? Histories? Sigma, go take off his clothes. Huh? Just hurry and do it! There is no need. This is what you wanted to see, correct? You bastard! Hold on, don't do it, Eric! If you shoot, we won't be able to ask him anything. So, was it you 
who killed Junpei too? No. Mira was the one who did the that. The fuck? Can I get some fucking context what? to that situation? She was, in a sense, a collaborator. She was a necessary element of my The plan. murdery type? The murdery side but of the element? But it wasn't that I gave her a specific set of orders. I simply let her roam free and do as she pleased. Oh, great. Oh, I did exempt her from the drug injections. Then why? Why'd you kill Mira? She's a serial killer. The Heart Ripper. Many innocent people lost their lives because of what she's done. Yup, yup. I only gave her her due punishment. What? What are you talking about? Stop bullshitting me! It's the truth. In another history, you and Diana and Sigma were all murdered by her. Shut up! You're just making shit up! I will never believe you! There's no way my angelic Mira would ever... No, Eric! Don't shoot! We haven't asked him everything yet. Shut up! I don't care! The X door will never open again! It'll open. Of course it will. What? Uh, so, should we ask him how? Right. The old man, Delta. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and the headless cue, nice. I see. I get it now. We need this boy. I mean, Sean. He needs to get direct access to the central control computer. Is that right? Uh, but... What? To connect to it directly, I need to extend a cable from my neck and plug it into the console jack that's inside. But, well... It looks like the cover is shut. Yeah. We would need to open this first. What's the code? Code? Don't play dumb. The code to open the damn cover. It's 38080832. It opened. Now I we just that need shit to down. extend the Don't cord and connect it. Okay. It's ready. Just wait a sec. I'll open the X. Really, Eric? Really? Huh? Why? No, no, I, I, my, my hand just. I have no more use for this history. There's only one thing left to do. Uh, no, wait, don't. So now what? Now it's just Diana and fucking her, his mom. Whatever, it's Diana and her, her son hanging out. The fuck? Mom. Ma'am. Is that it? Just mom. Is that gonna be one of the ending endings? Yup. Okay then. Wow. Well, let's skip this shit. See if there's anything else after the credits. Nope. That's QN number two. Huh. Okay. Well, shit. We've 
confirmed that delta is zero, which, I mean, I'd say is super interesting, but really, all they, I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't give my real thoughts on all this yet. I should wait till the end, like actual, like, whether I have complaints or whether or not I like how they're telling this or how, what, how they wrote this. I should do that at the very end when I'm done here. Anyway, okay, that happened. So, I have two things we can do now. And one of them is to go do this, this guessing the name of who Q is. I'm not doing it right now. I'm going to do it next episode. I think I'm going to go ahead and just fucking do it. I don't care if this is the right time or not. I'm doing it. If it's better to do later, I don't care. It's the only lingering thing I have left besides the boxes. The, the force quit boxes. It's the only thing left. It literally is the only thing left. So, in the next episode, whether some of you think it's a good idea or not, I don't care. I'm going to go back to the Q choice where we have to guess Q's name. I mean, I think we know what it is, or at least what it's supposed to be. And if I'm wrong, then that's even more interesting. So, we'll see what happens. I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, once that happens, depending on how long that takes, we may start opening some force quit boxes. Again, I'm not sure if I have all three codes. Unless that code we just got there at the end is useful. I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of numbers written down from other things. Something in here has got to be the last code that I'm not thinking of. Because now yeah, let's just not let's not talk about it here. Let's worry about it when we get there, which will be in the next one. Because I have a feeling even if I do do the Q thing, it won't take a whole episode. So, yeah. Get hyped, everybody. We're getting close to the end here. Only probably a couple more episodes left of this, most likely, depending on how long this all takes. But yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to be almost done with this. And again, I will go over my real thoughts on what I think about what just happened, like, in terms of my actual opinion on it, later. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!